I, well, let's go. I pump and he loops, he rolls me off, right? So I come forward, my hand comes here, and the insertion is here. It's not like this, it's here. My seven star bone coming here, right? Hands coming together, and you say, well, you don't want to put your hands and elbows together? You do, because this is, this is the exercise, all right? Now, he wants to keep his hands fairly, like I say, don't let me be able to do this. So, yeah. And this is why we don't use the, the, uh, the hand too much. We use the seven star block, okay? Because you're ready to do all kinds of stuff with that hand. Grabbing, all that kind of stuff, right? So we then we just come here. Then Chris comes, and he G. And so at first, he G's forward, and I'm on down, right? And then I come pong. He do, hold me off. This is in neutral space. And then I come forward with G. And then notice every time I go get that elbow, right? Okay? Then he comes forward. Right? And then you mind your P's and Q's, right? Don't lean forward, don't lean back. Some people can lean back effectively. I cannot. I'm too round. <laughs> it's all like you don't just want to lean back good. Okay, so we're here like this, right? And, and we're just doing the full force. And now at first also we're just get a straight get a nice rhythm. Get a get a real smooth, clean rhythm. And then we can define it later. But we're gonna do some other things. And so you you stay there, don't step. So the next thing I would do is I would go to 3A, which is this. And we just keep, don't lose stride or anything. We just keep going. This is chin, the chin style of push hands. Has the same side of the body for And then you watch those elbows and, and wrists. Man, if they get loose, be real sensitive to that. If that thing gets loose or he doesn't cover mine, then that's what you want to use, right? So here's, here's the danger parts. If I stay off of, if I get in here too far, he could trap me. Oh, you're about that. He roll over and trap me, right? And and once he's trapped my body like this, he can do all kinds of things to me, right? So the, that's the that's the reason for keeping this increment right here, okay? Right here. If you if you do the bong, if you understand bong work, um, that's why the bong is that segment. It's a segment of the body. Right, so this start to get smooth. Now, you do all kind of things like listening, right? You're listening. I could take, I can when he touches me with his hands, I want to feel that on my Don Tien. Right? So the body leads the hand, the body leads the hands at first. Later, the hands lead the body. You must be proficient though for that to happen. And so you're just listening. Even though nice rhythm, you're just listening. What's missing? He's keeping very disciplined with his hands. That's very good. He's a little, Don Tien's a little rigid. So I sit back, roll that ball. Yeah, whoa, big difference. You feel the difference? Oh man, I felt a, uh, I felt a 50 pound bowling ball there. <laughs> you know, use that against me. You can't use it if it's rigid. But if it's loose, ooh, it's terrible, right? So that's all we're doing. We're just getting in here and then trying to get sensitive, trying to, trying to listen, trying to attach his hands to my Don Tien. And it's the Don Tien that reacts, right? And so then from here, he come try to push me. If you want to get my center and push me, push, push, right, right, okay? So push, see? So I can push him off. He's, he knows I can do that, so he's ready for it. And then what we do is we turn back start to step. Right? So the half step becomes very important. So you got you got you got that lock. Go ahead lock me. Right? So now what do I do? I'll hold that one. Yeah you hold it right. Coming on to the elbow. Right? And so all chin style IG always chin up. Some young styles do lock chin up too. Right? Always chin up. Right? Number one. Right? Number two. Number three, right? Here, always, that arm bar, right? So that you on the street, that's what you do. That's what you're gonna to go to, all right? So, so when I go, I gotta step in, 
and um, he, I don't that time bar, so it's going to come here like this. I start rolling back the other way, right? I'm trying to get him, because he's, he's committed to one thing. Usually when somebody commits to something, that's when you can get him, right? If you can listen, what's the key to that? Let him go where they want to go. That's the hardest thing to do because we're like bulls, right? We're like, uh, it's the ego wants to win. And it's not about winning, it's about being sensitive, right? So if we bring something, if we bring some force, I really, I gotta make that force go right where it wants it, right? And that's the only, that's the only way to get it. So don't ever give it the force. That's the, one of the main principles of Tai Chi. When it comes, that's me, right? Who, go back. I come forward, he brings something, I gotta neutralize it. He brings something, I gotta, the, the rules say you gotta neutralize it. Number one, take, listen. Number two, home, understand. Number three, plot, neutralize. You never do anything to anybody, ever, before you've done those three. Right? If you try to do something before that, danger, danger, right? And then when you reach your life, you work with the different service. That's a straight one. I don't work for the When he brings the force, I don't want to inhibit the force. I want to allow it to come, but then I want to work perpendicular, which means spiral or just go straight perpendicular. Right? And you're always working perpendicular to the straight line. That's the purpose to take to listen. You can't understand before you listen. So when you understand, you know how much force. What's the direction? Where is perpendicular? <laughs> right? Because when this comes out, he's a much longer than me. If we got a boxing match, he would knock my lights out, right? <laughs> you look at the reach he has on me, right? Look, I guess he <laughs> would have knocked me out. I don't want boxing this right? So, you listening, listening, I see the force. This force come. there's the line of force, right? And then I neutralize, and I don't want to do it, I want to be subtle. I don't want to, ah because that gives him time to react. I neutralize, 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 work perpendicular. And do it subtle, do it subtle, do it subtle. Thomas is so good when he brings it like here. Now that's gonna work on anybody. And most people, unless you're used to it, right? So you listen, listen, listen. And that's, that's how you get the higher level. Listening and understanding and neutralizing. Uh, it says, uh, the art of work, it says, when my opponent doesn't move, I don't move. And when they move, I move. You gotta listen, you gotta listen. You should be ahead of them, and you understand what they're doing better than they do. That's the purpose to listen to the yeah. So, then it just comes into a use, right? And you're just trying to build that into it. So then the main thing at first is when you cheat, you go forward, and he goes back and on me, because I'm going forward. So see, then he, we're neutral, and then he comes in, and I gotta go back another, right? I don't want to inhibit what he's doing. I would never try to stop this movement. I would only allow it to come, right? And so, so long as I can. <laughs> my hips don't, if I don't have a, Catch in my hip, or you know, <laughs> right? So, and, if you don't, if, if you want to learn this, um, it's the four forces in your push hands, right? And uh, you want to do that? Yes. So, so just get in line and just follow. So, bring it with you. Seven stars.